Now for just a bit of quick maintenance. We're replacing this, which is broken, with this one here. So hopefully I remember how it all goes back together. But uh, what it meant was we couldn't adjust the pressure because it was just slipping. So anyway, let's give it a go. Well, all back together. Well, just a couple more bolts here and here. Seems to have gone back all right. Seems pretty simple. This little bit here. Focus. Focus. Had broken off the little uh, plastic thing there that uh, that uh, measures the end stops on the on the pressure regulator there. And was allowing it to go everywhere, and uh, yes, and it wasn't holding in place, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't altering, it wasn't screwing. Right now we've got this. Finally, going to empty the old uh, water tanks here, which haven't been used. Well, I only used them once with this spray, but uh, they were mainly used when we had the old 1,000 litre computer spray jet stream back in the. Back about 20 odd years ago and longer. So, all set to empty these out and then move them for the fuel tank, for the new fuel tank. I hope if we ever get it. Very good. And we're away. He's sucking her out. Not the best water for spraying, but. Um, Oh, you can see through it though. It's got to go and I don't want to waste it. Now this one. once we get this bit of spraying done whether it needs some new o-rings or a new uh, suction hose or something but I might be able to drop back a few ribs now it seems to be actually finding a bit more, a bit more uh, flow anyway we're doing it spraying these bloody cow chop just with some paraquat just burn the bastards off turn it all over to use S2 there's not many mel odd melon here and there but not worth put any chemical specifically in for them so we'll just see how it all goes also pretty sure we won't have to spray all uh, that area it's only really on the sandy parts of these paddocks with a few cow chops so I reckon we can turn around about now and then we'll see what comes up when we won't spray but there's absolutely nothing nothing at all uh, not much point spraying nothing. And we'll see whether we regret it or not, but uh, I don't think we will. We're going to continue to spray a few melons here. Only a small patch, not many, but there is a few here just before they're little, before they get away. Some wheat stubble, not much green out here. Summer rains that were promised didn't turn up. And another paddock. There was a pretty bad patch of cow trot back there. And I was going around the tree, and there's a few melons, so we'll try and get them under control. Alright, let's just try this thing out. Right, into here before it goes away. Obviously, it doesn't take much in the way. It's doing something. Making a mark. So 
certainly doesn't use much power. Pretty easy to pull. Something. I'll just slide it down. It going so, feels like it's going so fast here. See if you start. Well, it starts alright. Pump this seat up, which has gone down. Yeah, okay. We're in a shed, we know. We know. I know. I know. But uh, seriously, though, we got to recalibrate this thing. The auto steer's way off. I don't know, we'll see. Fun and games. Good tractor, but their GPS is rubbish. And I guess that goes for Case too. Alright, so out here just playing around with uh, this. I haven't done a full calibration today, but I will when the uh, sheep are out of some of these paddocks in the next few days, maybe this next week, but we've adjusted the P gain from 7 to 11, which seems to have made it at least a bit better. At least it's a bit better. It's not quite as bad. So there's that. I'm not sure it's exactly right, but at least it's, it's usable again as opposed to how we finished seeding when it was absolutely terrible. So anyway, we'll uh, keep plodding along with this, but uh, better, that's encouraging. Other than that, it's probably a steering sensor if it's not that. Anyway. Time to move these things out of the way, get ready for FERT. It's a map being delivered, I hope, in the next few days. So I move this and the old P6. Happy days. So I'm doing this from lazy. Just doing this with the forks rather than hooking it on. Because it will be just a matter of pick him up like that and there she is don't have to do anything else very good see you soon and uh, put on a clutch get a couple of ribs
mission sand a little bit grindy. I don't know where that was going. Two hands. 